Thanks for joining us. I'm Sharon Yu. This afternoon, there's an active search for three people who went missing in the Mississippi. The Goodhue County Sheriff's Office says they are using sonar and dive crews to help find them. We're told that the two people were swimming last night when they struggled in the water. Then a third person went in to help. Now the sheriff says no one made it back to shore. Crews began searching last night, but were forced to stop due to weather. The search resumed early this morning. And if you've looked outside in the last hour and a half, you know just how so stormy it's been in the metro. This is what the downpour looked like along the July 4th Fun Fest parade route in Egan. Clearly, there's no fanfare there right now. Event organizers told everyone to seek safety and leave the route. You can see the rain building up and sweeping down the road. Talk about rain on the parade. Uh, we got a good shower uh, over there in the past yeah. like, few hours. It's kind of bittersweet because it was nice to get the rain. We need the rain, but obviously it was raining on our parade. Why rain on our holiday, right? Well, uh, a little bit of a drizzle back here in the Care 11 backyard this afternoon. Earlier this morning, we had a couple severe thunderstorm warnings, but for the most part, we made out a OK. There's still some shower and thunderstorm activity here over into western Wisconsin this afternoon. So far, things have been sub severe since about late morning. We've been seeing the trend of just some stronger thunderstorms. We'll put this uh, forecast animation into motion a little bit later on this afternoon, 233. You'll see most of the uh, shower and thunderstorm activity still lingering just off to the west. Models are trying to do the best here to pick up when those showers and storms will turn severe this afternoon and we'll see some more redevelopment. Maybe between the times of 630 and about 8, 9 o'clock tonight is when those showers and storms will kind of push on off to the east. Southern Minnesota near the Minnesota Iowa state line still some strong to severe storms later on this afternoon and evening. A slight risk for severe storms for uh, the counties you see highlighted in yellow, which is a two out of five chance and the majority of the state uh, of Minnesota in that slight chance. So you can see that later on this afternoon and evening you have those shower and thunderstorms lingering into uh, some of the overnight hours, but out of here by tomorrow morning, noticeably cooler for tomorrow uh, oh, statewide. You have temperatures only in the 70s. Your seven day forecast will keep 70s and 80s. That's seasonal to finish the rest of the seven. Sharon? Well, lots of moving parts this holiday afternoon. Thank you, Guy. Right now, St. Paul police are investigating a crash involving a motorcycle and a vehicle. It happened last night around 7 at the intersection of George Street and Livingston Avenue. Police say the vehicle and motorcycle hit each other, and when officers arrived, they found three people injured. The driver of the motorcycle was taken to regions with critical injuries. His passenger was treated for minor injuries. The driver of the vehicle was also hurt. Fourth of July is always a big day for boaters, and the DNR has a warning. If you plan to drink and hit the water, do not do it. They say there will be no second chances if you're caught drinking and boating. The DNR says half of all boating incidents have alcohol involved. For this reason, in Minnesota, people convicted of drinking and driving, whether it's a boat or motor vehicle or recreational vehicle, they will lose their privilege to operate any of them. Your decision to drink puts all sorts of lives at risk. We have zero tolerance for people operating boats or vehicles under the influence. Another major tip from the state, remember to always keep your life jackets on. There's a lot happening tonight for the 4th of July. If you don't have any plans yet, here are a few suggestions. In addition to the Summer Grand Carnival at Valley Fair, the amusement park is planning a spectacular fireworks display tonight. Because it's the 4th, the park will stay open until 10 o'clock tonight. Coon Rapids celebration continues today with carnival rides, live music, and games over on Boulevard Plaza. The Firecracker 5K begins in less than three hours. You can check out the carnival midday, midway all day from noon to 11 p.m. A fireworks show is happening at 10 p.m. And if you head to today's Twins game against the Royals, you might want to give this a try. Pepsi Cola Chup. Yeah, the Pepsi flavored condiment flavored condiment will be available at a sampling cart at section 113. First pitch is at Target Field at 110. And if you're looking for other fireworks shows near you, we have you covered. We have a list uh, on our website and you can just text the word fourth and we'll send you that list. All right, we'll be back in just half an hour with another news update. Stay with us.